Hello, I'm Interlysium, and this is XCOM Needs You, XCOM Long War Mod. <sighs> Nathan Snake Eyes Zekic, 14 kills. Over 9 missions died on Operation Unceasing Sentinel. <sighs> He'll be sadly missed as one of our better snipers. Unfortunately, I'm actually probably going to miss his equipment more because there's a 50% chance we lost everything he was carrying, which includes the scope, our only sniper rifle, and I think I gave him a laser pistol. Let's go check our equipment locker. I'm sorry, Zekic, I, I don't mean to, uh, you know, dehumanize you, but, um, we have money problems and, you know, we have a pistol, we have all our scopes. Ah, oh, we have our sniper rifle. Excellent. I'm pretty sure there's a 50% chance of losing those if you abandon the mission with a dead person, so I'm glad we've got those. Right. What next? I actually don't know. I'm very dubious. Um, I guess we go to the UFO landing site. Nothing else really to do, so... Well, at least now it's detected where the thing is meant to be, like, pointing. The satellite was previously pointing at our base. Send the uh, Sky Ranger. Uh, interestingly enough, there was an article on uh, Reddit today. This is the, the day after I recorded the last episode. And the article on Reddit that I was looking at, the XCOM subreddit, was, um... This mission. How the hell are you meant to survive it? It's awful. It was, it was the map from last time. The same mission. Dear lord, I have no idea how you're meant to do that one. Um, I'm tempted to max it up. Yeah, let's max it up. It's a uh, two, uh, two, what they call it, outsider mission. It's gonna say seeker, probably more than two seekers. Let's be completely honest. Uh, we'll take JMZ lockdown. I'm thinking we take the strong squad. No point uh, panzing around on this one. Let's go, you know, balls to the wall. Mm, who are we gonna take from medic? I think we're gonna go with uh, Tori Doc Nimisaki, uh, our battle medic. Tori with the 13 a, uh, the 13 movement is kind of awesome. I mean, we do have, you know, slightly better aim dudes and stuff, especially, uh, you know, people with their uh, ridiculous will. But I actually want to keep them for two reasons. Firstly, keeping someone like Solomon Sentinel Mayor until he's got psychic powers means that we can basically up his longevity because taking everyone on a mission, there's a chance they'll die. And he's currently a nice stage for introducing to uh, being a psychic trooper. Secondly, the move is, you know, a little bit important. Now, where did I put the battle medic? Battle medic... Oh yeah, the scroll function is completely balked in, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's make items available. And... Start equipping with the loadout. Now, we do want to go all the way down to here, grab a scope. Also equip the heavy laser rifle. 99 aim! 99 aim. Woohoo, that's pretty damn good. Uh, 6 health. It is tempting to do something like that, but I think going down to 11 is just... It's just too crippling, really. I mean, we're going risky every time we take flat vests, but it is paying off because it means more meld and stuff from movement. Uh, it also means, you know, of course we can get to high cover when we can't and so on. I do see advice from, you know, people who genuinely have played, like, Long War going, you know, you can use, you know, the actual tack armor. <sighs> I, I really I don't think it's as clear-cut as, you know, you should use tack armor. I don't think it's as clear-cut as you should use tack vests, it's just I prefer the mobility. Um, I do prefer a mobile gameplay style. As you've probably seen, uh, it's it's playing more aggressive, which does have its risks, but it does uh, it does you know come out and useful. And sometimes let's grab ourselves an assault. We've got uh, you fully equipped, so I can just stay over this side of the uh, the board now. Sniper. Well, uh, oh, we've already done that one, so I don't need to do it again. But oh well. Uh, loadout. There's a sniper rifle. Scope. There's a pistol, and. Scout can have. We could go with the laser strike rifle. It would allow us to actually equip uh, a weapon we wouldn't else, like otherwise allow be allowed to equip. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I think we will just go laser rifle for now, and we'll grab. You already have battle scanners, don't you? Yeah, you have two battle scanners as default, so we don't need to give you battle scanners. I'm thinking we put the chem grenade on you. Your uh, your decent movement. Your sorry, decent. <laughs> you must be kidding. Your fucking ridiculous movement. Your 19 move. And you're probably going to be a psychic trooper. Bloody hell, look at that. Will. Bloody hell. Yeah, 19 move, psychic powers, and, um... Yeah, you're going to be pretty awesome. I really don't hope you... You you hope you don't die. I mean, it's really tempting to just chuck you in, uh, tack armor now, actually. 
He's still a 17 move. I really don't want you to die. I think it's worth it. 19 moves good, but if we're not giving you a shotgun, it's less important. Giving you the extra health in this circumstance might be good. I mean, you know, like I say, there is something great about great move, but having a too great move means that you'll end up dispersed from the squad if we actually move you to that maximum. So not always uh, quite as valuable. I think keeping your life now is probably slightly better. It's an iffy one. Um, we also need to be taking Rocketeer because we currently aren't taking Rocketeer and... We do have a space for the Rocketeers. I think we're going to go with... Wow. Well, hmm. I think we go... We'll take the Alon. On the basis that uh, instead of taking rookies, we could just take some low-level dudes. So, yeah, we've got Vialorn, who is only a Lance Corporal and not a specialist, actually. Not not quite as low as it could be. We could take some, like, Floating Eyeball, but I think we take Eagle Eye. Poe and Seaver, actually, instead of Vialorn. I'm sorry, Vialorn, but Poe and Seaver, actually a lower level than you, but still quite competent, which means, you know, there's more room for improvement. I'm sure you understand. Um, Poe and Seaver, there we go. Edit load. God damn it. If I'm making silly mistakes like that, this just is just uh, you know a nice a nice indication of how well I think this mission is going to go. Um, let's crack out a laser carbine and scope. There we go. All right, and gunner, you've got the correct gun. We don't actually have the laser version of that one yet. Smoke, high cap mag. People do complain about high cap mags pretty vehemently sometimes. They'll be like, "Oh, why are you doing that?" It's like, yeah, as as per usual. Suppression takes two shots, and you want to be suppressing sometimes. I find quite often I want to suppress more than I have the, the ammo for, and reloading just can be pretty crippling in that circumstance. The assault... I'm dubious about the weapon choice. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, Nuinasarki, you want to have yourself lots of medkits. That's fine by me. Let's get your laser rifle. Yeah. And... Five health is a little bit dubious on that, but we'll, we'll keep it for now. Uh, you've got that. You've got that. Assault. We'll go with the laser rifle. Just so that we can have some use at range. Uh, all the other stuff is pretty helpful. The the shotgun is pretty you good for running up and just, you know, going, boom, you're dead. Um, but honestly, I'd prefer to be able to have the extra shot range. And the aim bonus is pretty nice. Uh, it's not like we've got a pistol to cover the gap, and I'm not going to buy a pistol. We've got better things to spend that money on. Pistol costs 30 bucks. For 40 bucks, you can have, you know, a new auto laser. I don't really see the point in pistols quite often in this. Um, that said, if we do a pistol, I would probably give him the pistol and go with a shotgun. But I think the pistol is better served on JMZ Lockdown Lost. So, I think the team's ready to go. All the way to China. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. Begin the assault. We're heading into China. So no rookies this time. It's the first time in a little while I've taken no rookies. Uh, you know, we ignore last mission because it's one of those four man missions which are just bonkers. Uh, bonkers is not the word I normally use to choose them. Um, but I feel maybe taking two specs is probably right considering there are going to be two outsiders on this mission. And I do need to get, you know, a couple of very good missions in a row. Okay. Standard exploration. Edge of map is over here. Standard exploration over here. Edge of the map is here. Okay, so it's not a massively wide map, but they are larger. But it's still pretty, pretty large in terms of, you know, gener generically? G generally. You know, I'll just merge multiple words together. It's fine. Just make up my own. Uh, maps to go to here. out to the front. See, that's a pretty good move, even with the armor on. I mean, the armor isn't, you know, the best, which is why I don't put it on everyone. But I don't see an issue, particularly with, uh, in this circumstance. Okay, so, okay, four dudes, two of which are going to get flanking on me. So we are currently flanked, which is not good, as you could probably guessed. Probably one of the worst starts. Uh, we'll move to here because you're a sniper. I'll have you at the back. It allows you shots on pretty much everyone that matters. 
Uh, Pyr and Siva, you want to be slightly closer up actually, but the problem is you can get flanked from there. I'm thinking that we put you to somewhere like here. Unfortunately, can't get you into high cover. Can we get anyone else into high cover? Aha, Eagle Eye can. So we'll move Eagle Eye up there. That would be high cover for you. Just check out what your shots are. 43, so less than coin flip. And generally the rule is, for me, at least when uh, it's less than coin flip, tend to not take the choice. Now, I can move to here, but I'm just, you know, at risk of triggering. No, I'm not at risk of triggering. So I can move to here quite safely and uh, force them to relocate, basically, because I'll have flanking shots on both of them, I believe. Um, it's a legit option. isn't the best. But we have to relocate some of our guys over here. And I'm thinking it's going to be difficult choices, right? It's so a risk of triggering because we are moving ahead, but unfortunately, uh, fortunately for enough, enough for us, <laughs> fortunately enough for us, we haven't triggered on that one. Um, we are going to have issues on our facing for this mission. Tori, I don't like the idea of getting you into less than full cover, really. Copy that. Move you to here for now. And. Gonzo Mats. Right, Mats, you are the most important, uh, really, for positioning on here, because I'm wanting you to pump out shot after shot after shot after shot after shot. I, I basically want you being the reliable one. You have to be able to, uh, you know, get some... Ooh, that's an idea. Getting a nice smoke grenade in, pretty helpful. Unfortunately, I don't want to get guys too close together, especially against Thin Men, because Thin Men will just laugh at our pretensions and start aciding us, which will put a bit of a dampener on the situation. Now, there is a couple of choices, uh, but the problem is I can't move too far this way for fear of triggering our pod. I believe there'll probably be a pod about here or something, so I don't want to get too far that way. These guys will come around here and start um, flanking us if we, you know, go too far this way. So, I'm thinking of maybe pulling back, which leaves us in a bit of a tricky position as per this guy. And it doesn't give us the best of cover, but I don't think we have an option. Timothy McLean can, in fact, move forwards and get a shot. The bonus of that uh, running gun. Particularly useful in this sort of situation. I'm thinking there's quite a nice one. It is a head, has a risk of triggering more stuff, but it is covered from pretty much all sides. 50% chance. We're going to take it. Nice. Nice amount of damage. Not a kill, of course, but enough that we should kind of happily debuff. It's not like, you know, the be-all and end-all, but the debuff is real. Now, I want to focus on these guys over here to stop them from flanking around. I want to make sure I can take away their uh, confidence. Dead Thin Man. That's very nice. Lockdown Lost, of course, showing your true colours. Being a bit of a badass right there. Uh, and finally, we do have Pierwin Siva. I'm not going to do something crazy. Now, if we suppress that guy, he won't move. We, he won't be able to get a flank. We could move to someone like here. It's full cover, but... I'm a bit too scared of the flank, so... I could go to light cover. But I will, abs I will absolutely hate myself if we get hit in light cover. That is the issue. What sort of aims are we getting? So 71s, that's what we're expecting to get. Maybe, you know, 75-ish from here. So we could take a shot. Flank is still pretty much death incarnated, though, so... Okay, good. It's a debuff. It's not amazing debuff, but it'll do. And finally, we'll go for a suppression there on that guy. Which leads us with Gonzo Mats to position. I'm thinking we can actually move Gonzo Mats up to here. Got it. it is only half cover. But it will allow shots if they get closer. It'll get a shot on one guy if he stays stationary. Okay, it's an overwatch. Yeah, they are going for that sort of flanking maneuver. Ooh. So they did get the flank. Luckily, didn't get a crit because that would be death. Suppression. Okay, and it looks like I think that was our scout who I was previously talking about. Yep, 
There we go, right, so you know how we have scouts who are really, really valuable right now, like Gold Dust, and you know how I was saying this scout's amazing? This wound is going to put uh, Anton Casal out for 25 days. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's an Overwatch, there's a suppression. Like, the scout has a decent chance of dodging, it's true, but... Now, I think what we do first of all is we use Sniper to remove the Overwatch. Here in Siva. Come on. Got the kill. Prevented the suppression. I'm pleased with how that one went. Switching back to... Antkin and Casal. Um, yeah, so Doc is here. Uh, I think if we move Antkin and Casal back a little bit... Should still... Yeah, we still have a shot. We move our medic up. I don't know if we'll be able to medic from there, so we just move all the way to there. We should be able to get a medic and then maybe a shot because of paramedic. Don't move. You'll be fine. Uh, I love these improved med kits. They are so good. And then we can get a shot if need be. I'm going to save it because we might end up using the smoke instead. 40% chance isn't great. Uh, can we, of course, won't do anything because they're immune to acid. Gonna hold off for now. 99 is pretty good, but only one guy, and he gets two shots. Timothy McLean, unfortunately, doesn't have a shot. Moving out. Go for it. Oh, 96, you are kidding. That really does hurt us. That puts us in a very awkward position. Oh, crap. Now, we are looking at these 40s and being like, we need one of these to hit, otherwise we have some real issues. Um, Matt, take the 99. Dead and gone. Now we can move you, hopefully put some pressure on this dude up here. Uh, we've also got our 40s over here. And in fact, we do have an AP grenade which we brought. So, I'm thinking we have to use the AP grenade. Unfortunately, it does mean moving up. Which has the you know, side effect of maybe triggering a pod. Something I desperately don't want to do. Also puts us in the open. If we're going to be able to get the AP grenade on target. I think we take our 40s and then see what happens. Negative damage. Holo targeting. I keep forgetting the holo targeting our scouts. Absolutely. Luckily we did get the kill. So that puts us in a fairly you know, viable position for next turn. I think we have an overwatch there, so... So we have meld over here. Looks like the meld's probably going to be about here-ish, is my guess. Now, what do we do? Well, Doc's not going first. Scout can go first, despite the wound. Moving up to here should give us uh, a few good sight lines. Found ourselves a meld, that's good. Uh, put Doc all the way over. Actually, Doc goes last. Um, I'm rolling. Here with Matt's. Pretty good line of sight, hopefully. And where are the rest of the people going to go? Well, I'm thinking we need to move our sniper to here and then get a reload in. But we will check at the end of the turn because, of course, as we found out previously with those thin men, being able to make sure you don't have everyone, you know, locked in position allows you to vary your tactics when you desperately need to. Like, if we hadn't had the option to move our guys around back there, we'd have been uh, quite dead. And... I. I want I to move up to here. On the move. That'll be... I think we can go reload there, reload there. Oh, I didn't mean to reload Tori. Puts her in a bad position. Luckily, no enemies actually around, but I I forgot about Tori. Oh, it looks like guys are right on top of the meld canister. There's a second meld canister over there. We do need the money, but I don't really want to risk uh, so badly as to rush straight into meld territory. 
Unfortunately, can't get to the high cover there. A bit of a bummer, that one. Heading there now. Okay, so we can see the meld. We can see nothing around it. There is a little bit of uh, fog of war nearby, though. Not exactly uh, particularly Position inviting. Headed there now. Matt's propping up the flank is pretty good. I mean, I'd prefer Matt's to be on this flank, because it gives uh, more, you know, coverage with our high damage dealer, but... At the end of the day, he's on that side, and that side is fine. It could be worse. Um, sniper. Thinking uh, maybe a sprint with a sniper is, you know, a viable option here. Location just to get the sniper a bit closer to where the action will be. Just not because, you know, he needs to be close, but because he needs to have sight lines. And okay. sight lines from that hill will be good. So. Eagle Eye. Ten four. It's a yellow move, and it could trigger someone. But it doesn't. So. That was playing a little bit on the riskier side. I think also a yellow move to there is good, just because I want to be able to get a little bit for this meld. Tory. We know that this is safe. Yes, now, I'm aware this meld will probably shut down next turn. But it's worth a try. Two floaters and a mutant. I'm pretty sure three floaters and a mutant. Okay. Uh, I was going to say we, we could deal with this, but it is... um. Wait a minute. That looked like prime territory for a... Can we tell me we've got the disc... Oh! Oh, that is beautiful. That That is, that is one of the more beautiful grenades I've seen. It really is. I love it. I want to take it home and cover it in chocolate. Such a good grenade. <laughs> she just came out of nowhere. Pretty happy with that one. Um, Matt's doesn't have a shot. I believe we do need to move Matt's up. Unfortunately, no cover up there. So I believe Matt's here in half cover will have to do. We do have the bonus of the chem grenade going to happen. So could be worse. Uh, let's get our sniper. Half cover it looks like. Actually, it can be high cover because we're going to be moving Timothy McLean forwards. Moving Timothy to there. Moving our sniper to here. Our gunner to light cover there. Not a particularly dangerous spot. And high cover for our doctor. Now, we don't have to use the chem grenade. There is a possibility we could wipe them out in an alpha strike, and... That is pretty tempting. It saves the chem grenade for later. What have we got in the way of alpha strike capability? So we've got one there. We've got, you know, everyone there. Hmm. I don't think we'll be able to wipe them out. Yeah, so I, I'm thinking we unleash the chem grenade. Like, the reason I'm doing the chem grenade first is because it also gives us damage reduction. Um, so they, uh, they suffer from having cover, uh, giving them, you know, armor less. If that makes sense. I explained that really poorly, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. Chem grenade. Now, it probably means they're going to hunker next turn, so I kind of want to get a lot of shots in this turn. There is, you know, the option of just, you know, doing the Overwatch thing, but I think we really do need to take some of our shots. So, 40s and 50s. Not the best. Sniper, however. Pretty good. Let's go to Mats. Now, we know Mats is... Uh, a good one for this sort of stuff. So, get a shot here. Free damage. Oh, and got a damage resistance. Not particularly great. Uh, not getting another shot, so we will switch to Tori. I'm thinking getting another hit on these guys who can, you know, relocate pretty well is good. However, I actually kind of want to injure the mutant so it doesn't get the ridiculous aim bonuses. Unfortunately, it's a miss. Injuring the mutant would be pretty nice right now, and I think I'm going to take the sniper shot for the mutant. Looks like a miss. No, it's a hit. Oh, a very nice hit and all. Intimidates. Do we get any panickers? We have a fairly veteran team, so I'm expecting not. Nope. It doesn't seem to be anything from that. Now, the question is, do we take that shot? 71% chance. Pretty decent. But next turn, we will have a rocket from there, and it will destroy the cover, and we can go pretty... We can go basically balls to the wall. I'm thinking we now actually just overwatch. Shield, 
see what happens. Okay, it's a hunker, what we expected. Uh, another one to there. Overwatching. Acid, because he's going to move. Yep, he moves to get into cover or something? I don't know. No, he's moving past it. We got a hit, though. Very good hit. Five damage. Well, it's just a standard hit, but it's a standard hit at the upper range of the damage. And we've got another hunker. That meld is still upright. Something I would like to grab. However, we do have an overwatch. So I think we go for the rocket, and I think the rocket will be good. Pure and Siva. Hmm, not as good as I'd have liked. Did it destroy the cover? It doesn't look like it. Uh, it has clipped the guy who was in Overwatch, but no cover is still there, which is very unfortunate. That's kind of what I was aiming to do, is kill off that cover. Yeah, let's use you to kill off that. So Tori got the kill there, taking out the Overwatch dude, which should allow us to get some uh, pretty useful hits in here. Now I'm thinking we go up to here, take advantage of this to get the meld. And I believe we're probably going to have to bring up our assault. Now the idea with the assault is that we use the, uh, the, the frag to get some damage in. Not the best way to get damage, especially at this stage in the game, but... Unfortunately, I'll have to do. Uh, now. Can we... Oop, come on. Both of them are red on that one, so let's hope it gets both of them. Come on. Won't be a kill, I expect. Both are dead! Wow, that was... Crazy amounts of damage, actually. I'm a bit surprised by that. Hmm, well, that solves the problem of having to try and assault them through the... Uh, the hunkered downness. Huh. Cool. But we do know there is another meld over here, and there will be more pods on the map, so I'm thinking we need to assault the meld. The meld's probably about here, and there's probably a pod stationed around here somewhere. So, going up this way isn't great, but we can probably go around a little bit. Um, we do have to go pretty fast to want to get the meld. We, of course, do not want to assault the outsiders uh, without taking out a couple more pods, because they will call in their friends, and that will be... A very quick way to die. Understood. Moving out. Matt's move to assault that way. Uh, we'll put an overwatch on. No, actually, we'll put a steady weapon on JMZ Lockdown. Won't be triggering this turn, is my expectation. Uh, we'll move That's our gunner up. There was a chance we could have uh, triggered something there, but I very much doubt it. It's, it's not a high percentage chance. And we will move our scout. No cover, unfortunately. Yeah. Now, the question is what will happen? A raven will fly past the screen. Could be an alien raven. You never know. You can't trust those pesky ravens. So, we move up again, uh, doing, you know, the same old sort of shimmy. Um, Heading to that location. Kassar with the crazy move is probably the one I want to breach this. No one spotted as of yet. Aye, aye, Commander. Roger, tracking. Now there is, of course, the same old issue from uh, Enemy Within, which is if you leave your sniper behind, they will get grabbed by squiddies. We can always sprint them, but leaving them too far behind is just a recipe for disaster. Pure and Siever rush to there. I think it's maybe the time you need to actually reload, just because having that extra ammo for the firefight in the future will be nice. And I think we move Tori up here way. and reload. It's killing time. It's killing time. Ready to engage. And we get one Overwatch. That's probably the outsiders at the back of the UFO being. Enemy spotted. Nope! It is problematic. And they've all gone back inside. Wow, oh, that's... That's going to be a real pain. Okay, um... Right, we know the direction of the meld. The meld is actually in here, so I'm thinking it's actually going to be internal or out the back. There's another one over here, which is going to be down the side. I think we have to start ignoring the meld now. 
So, uh, move suppression -y dude up to here. We're going to open that door. And Timothy McLean. Not the sort of person I really want on the front, but... Doc, I really don't want you on the front line. Luckily, we have a few shots. Uh, I'm thinking that we maybe go with... Well, it's pretty much a coin toss at this stage. We'll go with that one. Down to one health on that Thin Man. Basically making the Thin Man almost impotent. Um, we'll open the door. Because these shots will determine, really, what we do of our turn. And I'm thinking that we're probably going to go for suppression. Now, getting Mats into somewhere particularly useful. Unfortunately, can't quite reach where we want him to go. Um, probably going to put him here, because that is high cover. And he can get some shots. Perfect. Now, the perfect place for Tori right now would be here. High cover. Close to the action. Feel confident. Here is a bit too close to the action, okay? Medic, can't risk it. Anyone else? Yeah. But also here, risks the meld. And that is, you know, 50 quid's worth of meld. It's basically hiding behind... $50 worth of stuff, and uh, I, I don't really think that's a good idea by any means. I, I really want the money right this now. This stage is is really about that. Um, I'm actually going to pull all the way back to here. And we can always chuck a smoke grenade for the last part of this turn. Getting Timothy McLean into the action? Probably a good idea. I'm going to go to here. Much worse sight lines. Yeah, we don't in fact see anything. Uh, fr the flashbang can't reach there, but you know that's a possibility next turn. We could go run and gun up to here and get some shots or whatever. But I honestly think having something like an overwatch would be probably better. Uh, everyone apart from you is in high cover. Take the shot. I'm, I'm okay with taking the shot here. Okay, it's a hit. Now, what we can do is we can either use Naminasaki to overwatch or we can in fact use a smoke grenade down there, protect our light cover. But I think I'm going to go the overwatch, mainly because it's only one person. One person can only be seen by one alien currently. And getting the overwatch will mean they can't really rush us, which is something that could happen and I'm, I'm a little bit scared of. The other options... Okay, so... Yeah. Um, if they acid, they probably hit us, so I actually want to move to the other side. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of expected them to fall back. Thin men inside a UFO are very annoying to take on. Close confines, acid can block a lot of stuff. Not exactly what to be doing. But by now, we've given up on the other meld. Uh, I think, you know, we're uh, Road Kid continuing this vein. I hate psychic stuff. Unless I'm doing it, in which case it's fine. Um, here we go. Right, can we get a shot at the sniper? No, we cannot. A bit unfortunate, but not to be uh, completely unexpected. There's an overwatch there. Take the 56. It's a miss, but, you know, that wasn't completely unexpected. Um, scout to here. Scout cannot get a shot. Okay, shame. Um, mats to here. Suppression, 28 is basically nothing in terms of taking the shot. I think suppression is a much more viable tactic. And as you can see, this is why I have the high cap mags. Because I want to be doing these multiple turn suppressions. Um, Tori to there. It's high cover. Timothy, McLean, move forwards. Get to there. Again, high cover. And let's go all the way back to our sniper. At this point, we want to be moving our sniper a bit closer. I don't mind hiding behind the melt at the stage. It's unlikely we're going to get shot at. There are other options who are closer. And we put on the overwatch. I believe that is everyone. Just double check. Right 
As expected, he's injured, he's debuffed, he's also got suppression on him. But he goes to the shot anyway, and it's probably going to be more psychic stuff. Sectoids really are the sort of support psychic class at this stage in the game. Unfortunately, one of these will hit. We have been a bit lucky so far. Fifty-six. Come on. Yeah, it's a kill. Negative ammo. No longer a threat. And this allows us to actually start breaching a little bit. So, we start moving inside. Let's go here. Still only a 20% chance to hit. Not the best. Casal can move into here as well. Casal's a better chance. 45. Bam. Lovely. You'd almost think that uh, she hadn't been injured earlier. Right, okay, let's move up. I believe if we move up... Yeah, we're going to put ourselves in some danger. I think we have to put Timothy to there. We have to put James the Lockdown Lost to here. Mass is going to have to continue overwatching. I really don't like the idea of chasing thin men inside their natural habitat. It's... It gives me the heebie-jeebies. Let's move all the way to there. It is light cover, but I want to be able to move him to the tree up further this way. Next turn, I think he doesn't really have enough move to really viably make it on his own. Um... Okay, so Thin Man is coming back. He's only got one health. This hopefully will be a kill, but I don't know. No, it's not a kill, but... These things do happen. Ah, and that's that meld. Was right there, apparently, going down. <sighs> well, we know where he is now. He's hiding behind the power coupling theme of Bob. Bit of a shame. But oh well. Now, this acid is in the way, so we won't be advancing too much up. Can we get to there? I think we can, without acidity. 28. We'll go for the suppression again. This is the last shot before we have to reload. Try not to destroy the power thing. It would probably kill him, but it's very valuable. Yeah, I know like, I I'm, sound like Dr. Valen, but you know, she's right about a couple of things. Not a lot. Not a lot, but a couple of things. That should give you cover. And Anton Kessel to here should block the uh, the dude from moving. Sprint up to there. I think we're going to have to start breaching soon, which is going to be one of these horrible moments. It's going to be high risk. Aha, but he's out the back. He's going to shoot at Matt. Matt's is behind full cover. Got covering fire and opportunist. Gets a hit. Debuffs him by quite a nice margin. That should be half his aim gone. But he's going to take the shot anyway. It's a suppression. Okay, not as bad. Not as bad. Actually, as a shot, I'd prefer it because that means we kill him next turn. As it is, we're probably going to have to wait. Apparently, those aren't hits. Okay. He goes for a shot. No, he's moving. Ah, the, the meld was inside. Okay. Immune? Did he just acid the wall? I think he just... He just acid the wall. That was a weird sound. It sounded kind of like claws. I'm hoping it wasn't claws. Move our gunner up to here. Reload. Sniper up to here. Pistol out. And... <sighs> Timothy McLean to here. It's high cover. We should put everyone in high cover. We have decent chances at killing whoever comes through that door. Uh, we do have to keep someone here, and it's going to be Castle, just to make sure that door doesn't go. Fifty-four isn't good enough, especially with the suppression going on, so I believe... We'll be taking the option to not shoot. Moving Tori up to high cover. And I believe we could, in fact, start going around this way as well. Um, yeah, let's move Anton Cassell up to here. And then, yeah, we got Pyrrhon Siva moving up just to be our backup. 
and then Overwatch. He Overwatches. We've triggered uh, Sectoids. Cool. Okay, four Sectoids. Not bad. The Psychic from them will be particularly annoying, but it won't be something that would, uh, you know, necessarily murder us. I'm going to keep your overwatch because you do have opportunist. It should allow us to uh, avoid your fire, Mr. S Mr. Uh, thin Mint. Hmm. Now, what do we do? We do know that there is a Thin Man in there around the corner. He probably has overwatch on. It's the point where you really need your scout. So I think we switch ends. Um... Having more chem grenades right here would be really useful, but sadly, sadly no chem grenades because we used them. Timothy McLean moves to here. Anton Castell moves to here, ready for next turn, at which point we'll be breaching into there, hopefully dodging any fire that comes at us. Getting some nice overwatches will be particularly handy. And I think it's just a case of hold out a little bit longer. What are the aliens going to do? What would aliens do? Overwatch. A movement that we can apparently see with our gunner. Gunner takes a shot, gunner misses. Unfortunately our gunner doesn't seem to be having a good mission and particularly low aim shots and stuff like 28s we've been saying. I thought you were meant to be a good aim but maybe I got my facts mixed up. Take the shot with Doc. It's going to be unlikely but then we can move mats. Oh, no, no, we still need mats. 54 to get the kill. It's so unfortunately a miss, which means that we're going to have to overwatch again for this turn. Hmm, now do we have Anton Casal? Too high cover? There, there we go, as I expected. Right. Badly injured Thin Man, and in addition, the, uh, the bonus from the Scout's Lightning Reflexes really pays off here, so... 85% chance, we'll take the 85. Get the kill. Beautiful. And then we need to follow up. I'm believing if we go with something along the lines of... Hmm, where can you get to if you move? Only here. Okay, so you want to go first, then the gunner can move into the second position. Oh, we've baited an overwatch. Bad, 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 bad. It's a miss, luckily. Ooh, that could have been much worse. Now, what are the chances with different weapons? So, 73... And I'm guessing it's going to be like a 40 thing. 52, yeah. So we go with the 73. Obviously, there's no other real choice on this one. It's a miss, unfortunate. Hmm. Right. Baiting at another Overwatch. Looks like a miss. It is. Being a little bit risky here. Now, what's our chances? Not great. So I'm thinking we put you on... Suppression. Yeah, it's fine. The other choice would be Overwatch, but... I have further suppression for this one. You are going to be Overwatching. You are going to be... Pushing around exploratorily. Exploratorily? Well, that's a word now. It probably wasn't before, but it's going to be a word now. Let's open the door. V? V? Okay, no. Okay, so I believe that's everyone on to Overwatch. Okay, it's a full back order. He will, of course, take his time. No, he's going to Overwatch. Thin Man moving to support him. Unfortunately, going to be meeting Mats, who is a pretty much a death dealer. A bit slow at this moment in time, but, you know, death dealer nonetheless. It's a power up. For a guy out of range of us, that's probably the guy we hurt earlier for the laser pistol of free damage. Nah, that would make sense because it's going to heal him. Shots incoming, but he's suppressed, so we don't have to worry about him too much. And we are back to Numenosaki. We'll take Numenosaki's shot. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly indeed. And this should allow Timothy to be able to get a shot. Unfortunately, we can't see anyone. Anton Casal, 50% chance over there. Probably not going to be a kill, but... 
It could be. It could be five damage. So we'll go for it. Hello, targeting, but I don't believe we have a shot with many other people. 83, actually. Ooh, let's go for it. And it's a kill. Nice. You're going to be taking the overwatch. I don't fancy you trying to run around here. So I believe that's probably going to be an overwatch as well. I should go over reload. I don't think they're going to run us. Now we are triggering, risking triggering some uh, outsiders by going much further. I mean, Asaki will need to reload. Mats is going to wait. Uh, James, he lost. He's going to need to reload. I'm going to move before we do that. Just move here. It's high cover. It has a risk of exploding. Somewhat not the best of covers. But it'll do. I think we're probably going to play for time this turn. Oh. Yeah, it's a hit. He is boosted by that uh, psychic thingy. So, I was playing it a little bit risky. 63% chance I still feel pretty good about. We'll try it. It's not a kill. We'll try the scout's 50% chance. Unfortunately, I have ammo. We're going to reload then. And if we go back to over here. On the move. Can't get a shot, but should be able to defend against uh, a runner. So we'll move in, and I don't know if we'll be able to get a shot from here. We might be able to, so let's try it. No. Okay. Thinking we do need mats. Problem is I don't want to run in this way, because uh, that runs into probably the outsiders is my guess, but it could be anything. Move mats all the way to here. And then everyone else gets overwatches. Okay, that might be an overwatch. So, we're going to need Anton Casal for this one. And unfortunately, it means going somewhere where there could quite legitimately be outsiders. But we do need to trigger it. We take the 50% chance here. It's a miss, but we got to get this guy, right? Miss the target. We can keep playing silly, silly buggers all day, but I, I do think we need to be able to uh, get that one. Maybe getting Doc to come around. Did we even bring him back at medkit on this mission? I don't think we did. That's a bit silly of me. So yeah, moving Doc backwards to be able to try and get some cover. Should have switched uh, mats for the sniper. We'll do that next. The uh, the scout do that next turn because uh, that'll give us some nice bonuses. And I believe we'll probably need to move McLean out of the way. All the way to. Hmm. To here should be fine. Shouldn't trigger anything. And then a bunch of overwatches this turn. Suppression. Unfortunately, we're going to move Matt, so which means we're going to have to move you. Unfortunately, well, fortunately for Atachi, you are a scout, so that's not too much of a crazy issue. So, move to here with Doc Tori. Get a nice heal wound in. Unfortunately, going to be a bit of a damaged guy. He's going to probably be out for another 22 days or something. And then... Come on, come on, come on. Do your action. We'll move him back. Now, we could go pretty crazy and start breaching, but... Like I said before, I, I don't fancy that. Go back to your position. Doesn't trigger no watch. Pretty nice for us. Now, you are suppressed. So... Let's bait the suppression with your lightning reflexes. Good. Can't see the other dude. Okay. Now. Mats. Move Mats to here. 64. I'm liking it. We'll try it. Not a kill. Not a kill. So what we could see is a, a boost the other way from this guy. In which case we'll know this guy's fine to attack. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how that one went and turned out. Um... 
Sorry about that. You're going to be overwatching. You're going to be overwatching. You're going to be overwatching. I pity the fool who tries to run at me. Uh, you're going to be moving this way, Tori. And a whole load of overwatches. So he's gone for a reload, it seems. We don't know what the guy inside has gone for. But I think it's time that we ran a scout in there. As always, things do come with risks. On the move. I'm under fire. Okay, so he's behind the bulkhead up there. Okay. More outs- uh, not more outsiders, are outsiders. There are only going to be uh, two of them. And I was pretty much expecting them to be there. That is a pretty standard spawn for them on this uh, map, or at least on this UFO. Tends to always be that sort of place. Now, where are we going to go? I'm thinking we go here and we get the flank. Nice, easy uh, run and gun. Secures us a flank, secures us a kill. Don't have to piss about anymore with this sectoid. 100% chance. Boop. Dead. Now, the question is how are we going to deal with our outsiders down here? And a uh, legit answer is gonna probably going to be something along the lines of move to here, shoot. Outsiders' chances of flanking us are unfortunately there, though. Probably going to have to do something a little bit more conservative for now. Let's just check where our smokes are. Nimonosaki does have smokes. Unfortunately, can't get quite to the position I'd like. So, let's see, where can I get Nimonosaki over here? And then a few chuck smokes. Oh, yes, yes, we can just... Come on. Oh, that needs to be... Yeah, do it! Away. Wait. Oh, you're kidding! It didn't work. That's bull. Wasted turn. Okay, well, I think we're going to have to do some uh, slightly more bold moves. <sighs> right. Now, unfortunately, we do know that the guy is coming around there for us. Uh, I think we're going to have to start moving someone back around. And I think maybe making it uh, lockdown lost isn't a bad idea. So moving to here and then next turn sprinting around there. Just to stop an outsider running around on us uh, seems pretty, pretty handy. On the move. Go there for now. The important thing is we can see that door, so we know if they're going to try and flank. Um, you have a smoke grenade. Fortunately, you can't get quite to there. Just a bit of a pain in the ass. Matt, take one shot, and then you can get the overwatch next turn. If Yep, there we go. So it's going to be an overwatch. Prevent the guys running forwards. I'm liking that idea quite a lot. And then if we move I to here, it's high cover. Oh, here is high cover and is in that smoke, so probably even better move. Yeah, we'll do that. See what's there. Oh, we can actually get a shot. No point in taking it, however, so we're probably going to go with an Overwatch. Standard old Overwatch idea. And... Oh, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? I'm thinking we move Anton Casal up to some sort of high cover. Here. Now. It is just ahead of the smoke, unfortunately. The smoke is basically in a position where we really can't take any sort of advantage of it. Ooh, that's nasty. High cover, but failed, so... <sighs> okay. Minasaki's gonna be working overtime on this map. Um, Minasaki to here. Kassal to here. Kassal's gonna be out for so long. Oh, dear. Alright, uh, heal up. And now we can actually start getting into fun cover. Now I'm going to move some of the other guys first. Unfortunately, Matt's can't quite get into the cover that I really want Matt's in. 
which is kind of a pain in the arse, but I'll have to do. So it mounts to here. Time to motor. Moving. Already there. Can't get a shot at this guy out there. It's a shame. I was hoping for that, but oh well. It will cut off their avenue of escape at least. And who do we have? Who do we have? Anton Casale, you've taken your turn. Nock, you've taken your turn. Pier and Siva hasn't taken turn. Moves to there. You've got smoke left, actually. Going to be particularly useful, that. You might not think so, but I think I can make it work. Move to here. And now, who do we, who do we use? Who do we take to the max. Now, moving here with our scout allows us to get into full cover. And I'm liking that idea. Doc can go to here. Should be able to get a shot from there, which you can. We smoke grenade. Can we get everyone? Not quite. So we get everyone we can. Oh, we can. That is... No, it's not quite everyone. That is everyone. Oop, there we go. Come on. I hope we covered mats with that. Doesn't look like it, so that lies. Um, we could take a shot. We could take a shot. Only two, so I'm going to reload and then I'm going to go for the overwatch. Prevent them running forwards. What I'm going for next turn is basically blitz. Just absolute blitz. So we want to take our shot with our scout first because we want that nice plus 10. Here we go. And it was a hit. That's a nice start. I like that start. Very much indeed. I want to use Matt's next because Matt's can take two shots anyway. 75 should be a good kill. Unfortunately not. Uh, I'm going to go with another shot just because he's got a limited vision anyway. Gets the kill. Nice secure kill for us. Particularly useful. Can anyone else get a shot on that second dude? You can. I think we're going to go for a suppression. Then overwatches. Well, that means scout again. The scout comes in particularly useful on this map, it seems. Scout to... High cover. Baits out the attack. I could have done Suppression Scout, which would have probably been a better move. Just absolutely destroy the aim going there. But uh, at the end of the day, that kind of works as well. Let's also get Matt's up. Matt's has, of course, the best gun. This sort of stuff. 55 isn't particularly great. Probably going to be an Overwatch this turn, just to prevent that guy from moving. And I think we also get someone up with, you know, the guns that can really get the bonuses in. Getting someone like uh, Timothy up is particularly useful because of his running gun. Uh, great for clearing out. But I think right now we just move him into a position where he can stay still and be ready. Um, here in Siva. Suppression anyway. Is that the last shot? Yeah. Reload. Now, what do we do with you? We could run you or something. I'm just not feeling that. Uh, I think we just keep overwatching, really. He's going to... Take a shot and miss. Okay. Cool. We're going to reload you. Nothing else to do. And let's start taking shots. So... Scout first, because of the aim bonus... Oh, what did I switch to pistol for? I meant to... Okay. Plus 10. Oh, it's a hit. Nice. Anton Casal, despite being hit multiple times and baiting multiple shots, still really pulls in. And it's a kill. End of mission? Bye bye. Not end of mission. Okay. This is the point where we just have to get a little bit worried about what's coming. So, 
Everyone goes onto Overwatch, and then hopefully we'll get an idea of where the enemy are next turn. They really should have come. Every time you trigger the Outsiders, you really do expect them to start just rushing you. So everyone goes on to Overwatch or reloads. Let's have a look. Who needs to reload? Good to go. Let's do this. Sounds like Squiddies. Quiet. There? We have a sniper watching there. <sighs> I'll tell you something stupid. I bet they're on the roof. That can be a thing. It's absolutely ridiculous, but... Good to go. Oh! Sectoid was hiding out, unfortunately. Well, obviously I didn't count the sectoids correctly, but luckily for us... Another day, another successful operation. No losses, 18 deaths. Got ourselves a nice, clean, fully operational battle station. By that I mean Raider. I'm pretty pleased with how that one turned out. There are a couple of things I definitely could have done better in the order of uh, particularly things like hollow targeting and the end bit there. I miscounted our alien uh, enemies, but, you know, it could be worse. 19 days and 27 days. Not terrible. Could be a lot worse as well. So... That went pretty well. Uh, extra conditioning. Bonus health depending on armor. Close encounters. First standard shot within four tiles. Does not count, uh, cost an action. That's pretty good. Or rapid fire. I'm honestly thinking close encounters is better. Rapid fire is tempting. Two shots at minus 15 aim. But being able to just use, you know, a free shot within four tiles. However, that one can be combined with run and gun and that one can't. Hmm... They both give one mobility. I don't really see much of the bonus in extra conditioning when you've got the other two options, which are great for putting out extra damage. It really does give you, like, one extra aim, one extra will, but these two are better. And I don't really know what the best option is in these two. As far as I've read from stuff in, like, the wiki and, you know, read and stuff, people tend to consider them, you know, roughly equal. That can be combined with running gun, that can't. So, ultimately, it's right, do you want to make them the running gun master? <sighs> Honestly? I'm kind of fancying the running gun master right now. Rapid fire. Minus 15 aim is fine when you've got a shotgun. Yeah. Let's go rapid fire. Pyrrhon Siva. Heat as per usual. Eagle eye. Hmm, you've got a fairly nice aim. It's weird. Let's get your holo targeting. Strange that you missed so many shots and had a poor aim, I guess. They were in high cover, to be fair to them. And what have we got ourselves? 11 meld, 4 UFO flight computers. 4 of them, pretty nice. A UFO power source damaged. Now we can sell that, that's good money. And yeah. Load of Valyrium, load of Alien Alloy. Felt that one went particularly well. So let's just sell off that spare thing. Damaged, no research value. Go. And I think we also put our trade in for an auto laser at this point. So, let's just grab our... Where are you? Meld. We could also get an extra chem grenade. Particularly tempting to go chem grenade as well. Since we are going to have a terror mission sometime soon. Which instantly makes me want to go chem grenade. So, bam. Engineering! Build me a ring worthy of Mordor. Why am I even looking over there? Auto laser, auto laser, 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 auto laser. Manufacture that one. 51. Oh, yes, you're down from 61, aren't you? Unfortunately, one shot will go sell. One of our weapon fragments. There we go. Back to engineering. Build by items. And chem grenade. Ah, it's cheaper as well. We didn't even need to sell that. Yeah, I forgot that we're getting a nice rebate because of that workshop on that one. Nice. Well, I think that's it for this episode. We've had quite a few uh, things go okay for us on that one. Have a quick look at our satellite. North America's covered. Asia's a little bit wonky, but hopefully we'll be able to sort that one out. I'd like to get one over Japan, but that's not going to happen until next time around. We do also need spare satellites. We also need more interceptors. We currently have four free. We need four four as a minimum, really. Uh, so I believe that we are going to be really kind of pushing it for our air defense and obviously satellites. Let's have a quick look at our satellites. We are due 
I'm not actually building any satellites. Well, it's going to be really, really dangerous. We need a satellite for the backup, especially for America. We need to keep that bonus giving at all times just to be able to get the cheaper when we get to the end of the month. Uh, and also, we do need to get more interceptors. So I'm going to call it here for this episode. And next episode, I think we'll probably immediately opening by selling some of our stuff in the grey market. So I've been interested listening. If you like the episode, please like it. And if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It, of course, really helps out the channel. And, of course, every time you dislike, a rookie dies. And, you know, any time I take a rookie on a mission, really, a rookie dies. But let's just ignore that fact. Uh, the mortality rate is particularly not great. I've been Andrew Lissim, and as usual, stay shiny.